Hello to my Aquarius. Aquarius, you all have asked for a bonus video and you know I don't mind delivering. Yes, Aquarius, let's get right into it. Happy full moon. Happy full moon to each and every one of you all, Aquarius. <sighs> just sit back for a moment and just reflect. Mm. Focus on, focus on, um, because the moon is in uh, Pisces. The moon um, has moved into Pisces. And Pisces is all about healing and releasing things, um, Aquarius. And so write down a thing, uh, a gratitude list of things that you believed in. Pisces is the I believe sign, right? So think about all the things that you believed in and the things that you have, things that helped you get to that like to accomplish whatever that goal was. So think about all of those things, right? So focus on those things. You said, okay, when you were a child, you said, I believed in whatever, right? And so now you're living that dream, whatever it is, right? Whatever that dream is, no matter how big, no matter how small, no matter who believed in it, no matter who didn't, none of those things matter. If you believed in it and it's where well, you're living it now, then that's what you want to focus on, right? Let's get into it. Let's get into it, Aquarius. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Don't forget to drink your water. Don't forget to listen to your water sounds. Today really is a great day. Hmm, it really is. Let's get into it, Aquarius. Let's go. All right. Everything is moving right along as it should, as it's supposed to. All right, Aquarius. Let's go. First card out of the deck, the Hierophant. Mm -hmm. All right, here we have the Temperance card. Here we also have the Emperor card. Mm -hmm. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We also have the Five of Pentacles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we have the Six of Pentacles. Aquarius, let's see what this is all about. Let us see. Let us see. Let's see what it's all about. Hierophant. That's right. Somebody has an innate spiritual understanding of some things now. Here we have the temperance card. Mm-hmm. Yep. And we're talking about being on the light side, right? So this is you choosing to be on the light side of the moon, right? Because some things have been discovered have been discovered, Aquarius. And so things are moving along as they should, as Source has intended things to move along. Here's the Emperor card. Mm -hmm. Yep. So five and four is nine. Um, and then we also have nine of pentacles, death, rebirth. Mm -hmm. um, something is ending, Aquarius. Something has ended. So stay focused. Right here, we also have the five of pentacles here, mm -hmm. and then also the six of pentacles. So, five and six we know is 11, right? 11 is a um, master number, a master number here, master number, right? So, um when you think about master numbers like 11, 22, 33, you know what I'm saying, up to 99, those are master numbers. This is a call from the master teacher source, you know, the creator from within, right? From within, right? Um, and so numbers are incredibly important. Just in, just in general, numbers are incredibly important. Um... um There's a lot you can see in this. You, there's a lot that you can um, see in this nine one one. Um, the spiritual symbolism of that, right? Um, endings and new beginnings, spiritual awakenings, uh, twin flame relationships. A lot of different things you can see in nine one one, right? Lots of different things, but source is saying to you, some kind of um, some kind of an approval has come to light for you. So you should be extremely excited about that, Aquarius. Like I said, you some um, discoveries um, have been made, and so an approval uh, for you has come. And congratulations, congratulations, Aquarius. Today is a great day. 
Don't forget to set your intentions. Don't forget to set your intentions. All right. Somebody has a guardian angel watching over them. Somebody has a guardian angel. All right. There it is. There it is. Hmm. For my music lovers, there's a lot of songs that come to light. So whatever song comes to light whenever you are listening to readings, I want you all to start writing those songs down for music lovers, people or artists, you know, artists, whether you're poets or like you love poetry or you like paintings or things like that, different artists' names. I want you to look up the letters, align them with like um, um, the, um, the, the Pythagorean um, you know, letters and numbers. I want you to line those up so that you can start really studying numerology. So you can really start paying attention, really, because there's so much similar, there's so much more I can say about this part right here. But just know that you have been approved for something, Aquarius. And um, here we have mm -hmm. sources rewarding you. This you, you are, you are, um, like I said, you, you are being rewarded. You're definitely being rewarded um, for something. Whenever you're in a high, when you, whenever you are at a crossroad, just in general, whenever you're at a crossroad in general, and you have an option to choose light or dark, because every, everything is light and dark to everything, always. You know, you know, sometimes it's not as clear, but sometimes you step back and look at everything, right? You receive downloads, messages, those kind of things. See this snow right here? Snow is a form of water, right? Water connects us with um, intuition. It connects us with um, feelings, emotions, creativity. It, 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 it um, connects us with sensuality, sexuality. It connects us with a lot of things, right? So water is shaped and guided by the earth that holds and surrounds it, the people earth our physical bodies earth right that holds and surrounds it right so source is saying to you you're actually being rewarded for something aquarius um and you are um some kind of an approval is coming through here we have the six of cups here yep six of cups here And so when I say that when you're in a fork in a road, that's in your, you have to choose light or dark in whatever, right? So in some of these cards, like you see this right here, you see plants, right? You see plants. You, um, you have the nine of pentacles. We'll leave it there. Nine of Pentacles, Aquarius. Yeah, so those are the same people in the in the card in the on the card here. And so you got the same energies on the card here. And so I mean it's the same, it's a the like little girl growing into a woman, little boy growing into a man, puppy here in the card growing into a big, you know, bigger dog, you know, in the car. So having childlike faith, right? Here we have the six of swords here. So there's six and six. You got six, six, six here, right? Not to be confused with whatever, what you know what I'm saying. But it's you got six in the elements, and all three elements here. But six, the number, the, not written really now, but you can see the shape of a number six. It has a rounded back and a uh, bulging belly, right? So this is where Source is saying you're taking your power and you're taking your intellect and you're moving on with something because something has already happened. Something has already been taken care of. Something has already handled. What Source is trying to get you to do is get to safety, and that's what Source is doing. So Source has already moved you, put, put you to the side, like moved you out of the way of something, okay? So for some of you all, it could mean, um, since we're talking about the physical uh, physical possessions, like so if it's on your job and Source is saying to you, okay, I have a better job for you. I have something. I need you to step aside. I need you to move on. From this job, this is why we're talking about this full moon in Pisces, which was a we're going to have an eclipse. Um, I don't know what time you're going to be watching this. this. Is a bonus video. I don't know what day or time you're going to watch this bonus, but eclipse. Um, the 
um, Moon in Pisces. Um, which is the last sign in the Zodiac. What else? Um, Harvest Moon. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Yeah, Harvest Moon. It's called a lot of different moons. You can look on the um, the the Farmer's Almanac to to see, right? You can look on the Farmer's Almanac. You can look that up on Google. Just Google it, right? Look it up, right? So, um, the eclipse we have is about the final letting go, right? This particular eclipse that we have is like the final letting go because Source has already approved something, right? So something is already something has already started moving. So source needs you to move you out of the way. So that means one, something better is on the horizon for you. So source is saying, okay, I need you to move. I need you to move on out of the way. I have something better for you, and something else that you're leaving behind. Something is already happening there. If that makes any sense to somebody. So again, remember this is a general reading. So take only what resonates with you. Yeah. Take what resonates with you. Whenever you're talking about a, um, a lunar eclipse, you know, any childhood, ancestral, or family trauma can easily come up with an eclipse. So be extra gentle with yourselves during this time. You know, stay connected to your body and Mother Earth, right? Mother Earth, right? So this is, um, and Pluto being retrograde, Pluto is, um, Pluto is restoring balance to mother earth right so everybody needs both right everybody needs both right so um let's see what else we got going on here let's see what else we have going on here yeah so here we have the king of pentacles so you have a wealth of knowledge about some things right so remember king of pentacles is not just about money it's, it's never just about money. That's just the material aspect of things. That's like the physical aspect. Like people will, well, water again, water is reflective. So you may have some mirroring spirits around you as well. You know, people have cameras, people are watching, people are listening, people are, those kind of things, right? Don't even worry about those types of spirits. Your vibrations are high. Source is actually the one that's rewarding you. Because for you, like I said, um... You all are truly humanitarians, Aquarius. So you're keeping your vibrations very high. So you all are truly, something is already happening. So you don't have to worry about it. Source is moving you out of the way. Just keep that in mind. Source is keeping you out. So everything that's happening, if you all can just keep in mind, Source is moving you out of the way. So keep that in mind. Um, so you have, um, you have... King of Pentacles is like at the, whenever you're on the throne, king, queen on the throne, focus on adjusting your crown. When you have that much knowledge about, on this card right here, right here, wolves, right, the nature, right? When you have King of Pentacles knowledge, Pentacles is about the physical existence of things. Then sources, you don't have anything to worry about because you already have foreknowledge. And sources reminding somebody of some foreknowledge. This is generational, right? So um, that is like working for a company or a manager or whoever, you know, is in at a leadership position, whatever, um, in your workplace, since we're talking about this, who is... Uh, determined to erase your existence. They're determined to erase your existence. They see you as a threat in some way, shape, form, or fashion. They see your nurturing spirit as a threat. So maybe you're a person who comes into the office and you're the one that, y'all know what I'm saying, like everybody has those people in the office that comes in, they want to they wanna bring everybody together. Let's do a potluck. Let's, you know, let's, you know, have events, you know, at the office. Everybody has those kind of spirits in the office right but you do have some people that actually hate that they actually see that as something is wrong with that we need to get back to work we need to stay focused like they just so hard nosed is their way or the highway we're here to do work we're not here for all of this potluck gathering together team building and it's their way or the highway so 
unless it's somehow benefiting them, you know, and making them shine or making them look good. So sources say you're not looking for acceptance and approval for that. And sources say, but you're also taking the high road. You already see, you've seen it enough. You already know what's what. So, yeah, so um, you're moving your, this is a rite of passage. You're traveling through. So um, here we have, you t you've taken your power back. So good for you. You're taking your power back from dark entities. Again, people are breaking, people are, bre everybody's breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. Everybody is breaking generational cycles. That's the whole, entire planet. Chains, curses, cycles are being broken. You see it in social media. You see it, you know, people are just like, oh my God, this is what's happening with this person. But everybody should be focusing on their generational cycles, chains, and curses because everybody has chosen to break a cycle. Everybody is chosen. Source has chosen every single human being on this planet to break a cycle, right? And so that's what you want to celebrate. That's what you want to wake up and say, okay, you're in the process of breaking a generational cycle, chains, and curses. No matter who is trying to judge you, that's Pluto. Pluto is the judgment card. No matter who's trying to judge you, you are breaking a generational cycle, chain, and curse. But you also know that other people are breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. But you can also, when you look on social media, which I suggest is not too much that time, because you see how people celebrate when, um, unfortunately, when people celebrate, when you see a chain cycle of curse being broken publicly, some people actually celebrate that. And it's unfortunate that people do because they, then they justify it. They justify that they get excited over that kind of stuff. Right. Because again, it's, it's the, the waters on, it, it shows, it's almost like that when you're talking about reflective, it's like, okay, Oh, I just want to show. So, oh, wow. This, whatever. You know, so attention and focus on that. But so source is saying, keep your vibrations high. Here we have the Empress card. So keep your vibrations high. Your abundance and your prosperity is growing. So a lot of things are happening for you all, Aquarius. You've invested a lot of time in something. And so that is actually growing. And that's actually worth something. There's a return on your investment coming. Trust, trust this. I'm telling you, trust source. I'm not your source, but trust source. Trust your creator, right? Trust your creator. There's a return on the investment coming. Let's see. Let's see what it is. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Aquarius. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Woo. Four of Pentacles. Yes. Four of Pentacles. So you can be conservative with your time, Aquarius. Just be more conservative with your time. Be conservative with your time. All right. Here we have the lover's card. Remember, lover's card is not always about lovers. We'll talk a little bit about that for those of you all who want to be in a romantic relationship. Okay, I will address it. <laughs> I know a lot of people ask about like love relationships, right? So my readings are primarily focused on self-love. They are primarily focused on that. Um, um, and just being a whole and complete person and just being able to recognize what's not right on even if it's a little bit too late when you recognize saying okay you know you have the option to move on wish everybody the best but move on and um but anyway so here we have the lover's card lover's card is about decisions right it's about decisions partnerships in business and or in love right so source is saying to you um some kind of a partnership is coming across somebody's path whether it's in business and or in love and you want to make room for that. See? Right? So Ten of Cups, right? So this is more of these are sacred relationships, sacred bonds that source is helping you to build. Now where you take it from there is pretty much up to you, but you want to make sure you are whole and complete. Lover's card in reverse is about dysfunctional relationships. Um, um 
It's just, you know, it's about um, dysfunctional partnerships, indecisiveness, right? I'm not really sure, you know, you're kind of going back and forth. If you're indecisive, it's, it's a no. It should be a firm no if you're indecisive, right? Even if you, even if you find yourself in something and you decide you should, everybody should always have the option to say, no, this isn't working for me without it being something extreme. You know, you being afraid of something extreme happening as a result of you change, just simply changing your mind. It's your mind. Just like people, other people can change their mind. Everybody has a choice to change their mind. So source is saying to you, but this is, these are sacred bonds here sacred bonds that's coming across your path these people at the table are not um when you talk about men, uh, mirroring or like monitoring spirits on the dark side of it there these are not people who are always trying to take pictures of everything always trying to record everything they're always trying to like use something you know hang something over somebody's head using it as so-called leverage to use against people you know for a later date i gotta have this i got they're not carrying around back breaking toxic um um feelings about energies and so trying to use it against other people these are sacred they're like basically you see what you see here, you don't see any devices on the table. You don't see any, um, you know, whatever, right? People are sitting down really having a meal, having conversations. They're sacred bonds, right? It's basically like this engage in conversation. There's no, these, these are energies when they look in the mirror, they know who they see when they look in the mirror, right? These are people who, like I say, believe the uh, card Pisces. That's the moon card. They say, woke up and said, okay, I believe one day such and such and such and such. And they worked towards something they believed in and didn't let anybody distract them. They didn't let anybody distract them. So if, if it's something that you believe in marriage or if you believe in having a family or if you believe in um, friendship circles, and I'm talking about sacred bonds where you feel like you can really be where people are not, it's not going to turn around and hurt you because people that's how some people are just wired i mean generationally they are just wired that way they gotta have this and that on people that force people to stay and stuff which you're seeing a lot in social media right so sources saying to you these are not like that sources again restoring balance so when you say where are the good people where are the people who are not trying to use stuff against people where are those people look in the mirror be the energy you desire to attract be the energy you desire to attract right so yes you can have those conversations with people who are not always on edge combative those kind of things so they're not always assuming something about you because they are always on guard because of something else going on right so source is saying to you here we have the ten of cups here so yeah you're definitely keeping your vibrations um high because something is up i'm telling y'all i'm telling you you'll see aquarius you'll see so at this table if you desire love that's if you desire love you see a person who is pregnant um, on this card here if you desire something like that, then that's coming your way, you know, planting seeds. If, if that's something you desire, obviously, you know, sometimes age plays a factor. Sometimes other health, thing, you know, plays a factor. So there's many different ways of, you know, planting seeds. If that's the case, you can be planting seeds for starting a business. That could be somebody's baby or like, um, like um, you and somebody could adopt pets. You know, that could be something. Sometimes people are dog moms and cat, dog and dog moms and dog dads, <laughs> dog, cat moms and cat dads, <laughs> whatever it is, right? But you and you and somebody at the table are growing together, you know, you if, that, if that's what you choose, right? But it's a very sacred relationship um, because you all are believing in something again. And so... Um, just like you believe that you would be where you are today. And I'm talking about the positive light side. We're not talking about all the other stuff that you're releasing and healing from traumatic stuff. We're talking about the, the light side of things, right? It's the same thing. You're making room for this. That's what you're making room for. So congratulations to you all Aquarius. Congratulations. Here we have seven of pentacles. Oh, nice. Okay. 
Look at you, Aquarius, in a lotus position, sitting on a beach somewhere, getting your your all your chakras aligned from the root to the crown. Adjust your crown, Aquarius. Here we have seven of pentacles here. So yeah, so here we have four and seven is 11. And then there's 11 again, right? So you're moving from this cold type of environment. Like, and I'm talking about like people being cold hearted, you know, like um, energies being cold hearted, taking pictures of everything, recording everything, trying to use something as leverage and hanging stuff over people's head and, you know, all have, creating a bunch of distractions to warmer spirits warmer spirits right again balance balance you've already experienced that and so so then you have a wealth the king of pentacles knowledge of that but there's also another side to wolf energy as well there's light and dark side to everything right so you have to choose you have to choose here we have high priestess so your gifts have actually been increased yeah, your gifts have been increased. High priestess gifts have been increased, right? So that's what Source is trying to remind somebody. So you may have felt an, uh, an incredible amount of protection around you, Aquarius. An incredible amount of protection around you. Source is continuing to plant um, protectors around you in the physical form. When you're talking about plants, right? You have plants, people who have been planted around you to spy. You see that a lot in your cards these pink cards, but you also have plants that source has assigned to you people that source has planted, has planted a seed in them to watch out for you, Aquarius, to watch out for you because of your high vibration, because of your frequency. It could be, if you had a hospital stay, it could be a doctor. It could be a nurse that comes in. It could be, um, it could be anybody, right? But you have been assigned spirit guides. You have ancestors around. You just have a lot of people that have energies so that source, source planted a seed in their spirit to watch out for you. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Five of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Round and round. Isn't that a song? It was like a song. I would have to look it up. I would have to look it up. Round and round something. But anyway, so yeah. So um, prepare yourselves, Aquarius. Prepare yourselves for, um, you know, something. Um, something, like I said, Source is already rewarding you for something. Here we also have the Five of Swords here. Yep. Yep, five of swords, there's a number 11 again, right? So 11 is a call up for, it's the master teacher source, right? It symbolizes light, right? So it's light, um, choosing the light, choosing to be in the light, right? So source saying, get off the fence, right? 11, get off the fence and step into your own light, right? Within, the light within, right? Start celebrating, start celebrating. All right, here we have the Three of Swords here. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so, and then also the Six of Swords here, right? Again, all right, Three and Six of Swords here. Mm hmm And then the Sun card, right? So, um... Well, well, well. Okay. So, so, um, okay. So, Aquarius, like I said before, um, Like I said before, you're moving forward. You're moving forward. I had to pause for a second. Yeah, I had to, I had to pause for a second. So just take only what resonates with you. Okay, this is general reading. I'm taking um, this way. Hit the magician card. Yeah, yeah. Magician card. 
Dark spell has been broken. Dark spell has been broken. So the death card. So on this particular card, it looks like I'm just in someone's ancestral line. I recorded a reading for you all, and this is coming back out again. Mm -mm -mm. I, re I recorded another reading for you all, Aquarius, and, and that death card came out again. Death is not always in a physical sense, right? Just so we, just so we're crystal, you know, crystal clear. Death all into itself can bring mourning. It can bring about mourning. You know, you like, you feel like, okay, the ending of a job, like why? And so she said, no, I'm trying to get you out of the way. I'm trying to move you on from something because something else is happening. But I need you, I need you to get to shore safely. Um... So the only thing I can tell you, Aquarius, is like to not be fixated on something. Like I know you all are a fixed sign, but you also have a moon sign too. And the fact that Pisces, we have a full moon in Pisces and it's also an eclipse. And specifically, I think it's a lunar eclipse. Um, I need you all to uh, focus on um, believing. Believing in things. Like really, really believing in things, um, believing in source, not just things, anything, um, believing in, believing in, uh, source. Yeah. So, yeah, so this is a, this is a, a partial, uh, lunar eclipse, but, um, <clears throat> so yeah, so releasing, like going back in your ancestral line, somebody may need to pull their Akashic records. And there's tons of videos online. There's, I mean, there's so many resources, you know, technology, so many resources. You may want to do um, like guided, guided meditation through Akashic Records. You can also do that. And just kind of sort of go back in your bloodline and remember really where you came from. Really, you're going to have to go right. You're going to go. Because as people not only inherit gifts and talents, you know, you know, all these gifts that you're bringing forward, whether you are a gifted um, and talented artist in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Some of you also, people also in, inherit burdens too, you know, and so those are the things that you want to work to. You want to work through those things, release those so that you can make room for new. You want to first identify them. That's when you talk about looking in the mirror. When you're doing the mirror work, you want to look at those. You really, really want to pay attention to those. Don't worry about somebody else trying to hang something over your head or use something against you. Well, don't even worry about all that stuff. Source already, I'm telling you, Source already took care of something. And it's big. Source already has taken care of something. You don't even have to worry about it. Focus on just you and keeping your vibrations high and focus on celebrating the generational cycles, chains, and curses in your own family that you all are breaking. Just focus on that and celebrate that. Identify. Go back in your mind when you're talking about the five of pentacles, when you were sitting in front of your vault, meaning sitting in front of your own life, right? Between the ages of zero and seven and trying to decide, make, make it make sense as a kid. Like, okay. Did I fall out of a spaceship? I have to make a, put a little joke to it, Aquarius, because y'all are famous for jumping inside of a spaceship, right? And zooming off, right? But some of y'all are like, okay, wait a minute. Did, this, did the spaceship finish the journey? <laughs> like, who are these people? <laughs> but, you know, in, in all seriousness, like, really just going all the way back, all the way back in your own family, Aquarius. So go back in your own family. Look at your own generational cycles, chains, and curses, which I know I can say that to you all. You all are not a sign that's like above, you know, like y'all are just not that zodiac sign. I already know. So um, y'all are not that sign that's like walking around holding stuff over people's head. That, mm -mm. Anyway, so yeah, so that's why you got this. You got this right here. Yeah. Continue during the mirror work. I need y'all to... So, mm. I'm telling you, somebody had an ancestor in your family. Somebody comes from a, I'm talking about you, Aquarius. See this all the way back here? Right? That's also like these two pillars too, like stepping into your own light, stepping into your own light. And so what, what you may not be able to see right here is water. There's so many book titles I want to give y'all. Mm. 
man, there's so many book titles. I think The Alchemist may be somewhere somebody can start. Like in terms, this, this book right here, The Alchemist. Well, there's other novels in here, but The Alchemist could be a good start, a good place for people to start. I'm telling you, just the beauty and the complexities of going back and looking at your own family, Aquarius. I'm serious. Just looking at your own family saying, okay, remembering the stories, the history, the all that, right? And you see dark water there, water. Remember I told you water is shaped and guided by the earth that holds and surrounds it, right? Sometimes you need to, your physical body needs to be away from those waters to really process for real, like to in order to really process I'm serious. Some of y'all are thinking, were you dropped off at the wrong, you know, <laughs> did the stork deliver the baby to the wrong address? But you chose that, those energies in pure consciousness, right? In pure consciousness. And that's what you're returning back to. So that's why you can go back and look and with forgiveness. Like really, that's why you can go back and look at forgiveness at those energies and everything that led you to this this awakening that you're on right now. So don't even worry about anything else, anybody else. That's why source is the one that's your creator. Don't even worry about another human being. Your creator is rewarding you. Your creator is rewarding you. So a dark spell has been broken. It has been broken. It's already been broken. You've broken a generational curse, cycle, and chain. You have broken that, Aquarius. You have to decide which generational cycle, chain, and curse that you've broken. Don't sit in, woe is me. I don't know what it is. I don't understand. Yes, you do. Yes, you, oh, just take some time with self. Take some time with self. Here we have the moon card. Yep. Yeah. This is, uh, we have a, like I said, partial lunar eclipse. In Pisces, that's the moon card, right? Go with what you believe. Pisces is the I believe sign, right? Go with what you believe. Go with what you believe, right? Go with what you believe. Not what somebody else believes, what you believe, Aquarius. Here we have the emperor card. Yeah, it's going to land you on the light side of emperor, but it's also creating a tower. It's also creating a tower. So in your vulnerability, that's why I said before I even pulled that emperor and that death card, both of those cards are ruled by Mars. Mars is the tower card. You're in a very vulnerable state right now, very vulnerable. And, and so in your vulnerability, I really want to encourage you all to keep your vibrations as high as you possibly can because... Just focus. Focus on just your family. I can't even reiterate this. I, I can't even. I can't say it enough. I hate to keep repeating it, but for real, stay focused on your family because you've broken a curse. Nine of Pentacles. Yep. Financial independence again. I'm telling you, you've broken a curse. Five of Wands. Things will keep trying to resurface, right? It will keep trying to resurface from your lower self. Certain things will keep trying to resurface, making it feel like it's a David and Goliath situation. Like, oh my God, things are coming up again. How come things keep trying to resurface? Because you want to be grateful that Source is, um, because you know Source is about to take you to the next level. Something is happening, Source is about to take you to the next level. Give you another opportunity to release something. Another rebirth, right? Another rebirth. Page of Wands, right? So people will try to keep roasting and roasting and roasting until... Um, but Source is cooking up something nice. Yeah. Source is continuing to cook up something nice. Page is youthful energy, right? So on the dark side, you could be dealing with a very immature fire energy. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Or they could have that in their birth chart. doesn't really matter. People judge people and tease people or roast people, tease, you know, um, for their ascension all the time. They do. Because they're hoping that, hoping that the distraction, remember the devil is, we're not calling anybody the devil. It's a spirit, right? The devil is the author of confusion. So if they can keep you in a state of, all it needs is a host. 
And if that energy is too afraid to believe in themselves, it cre just goes, misery loves company. It just goes from, it just goes from one place to the next, creating distractions. Um, and so source is saying, just keep believing, just keep believing, keep believing, keep believing. Here we have the two of pentacles here because it's masking something. It, I have to say it because it is a spirit, right? That's why I say on my channel all the time, you don't have to demonize people. You hear, oh, that's a demon. That's a demon. That's a, come on now. Like source is saying, but, but you know, you got to know that the creator created that, right? So here we also have the, um, um, the two of pentacles. So, you know, some, something is masked. Something is like trying to mask something like, uh, is wearing a mask, right? So you make sure your life is in ba is balanced out. So balanced out, right? The two of pentacles, it, the number two for peace, that you are at peace in your personal and your professional life because you'll easily be able to spot whenever energies are trying to bait you into something and then and switch up. So bait you into a warm conversation and next thing you know, you just nightmare on Elm Street. You don't know where the situation took a turn in your personal or your professional life. You're like, okay, this this a different spirit just took over, right? But it's always been there. It's always been there, right? It's, it's deep in there. So here we have the seven of pentacles. Yeah. So um, focus on your family. I got to say that. I got to say that again. But something is already happening. Some really, really good news is coming, continuing to come across your path. Aquarius is continuing to come across your path. It's continuing to come across your path. So, yeah. Congratulations to you. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. All right, let's close it out. Let us close it out, Aquarius. Is there any? Let me see if there's any other cards. Let me see if there's any other cards here before we get this closed out. And don't forget to journal. Don't forget to journal. Don't forget to journal, journal, journal. We do have digital journals and calendars below in the description, and those are completely optional, right? You don't have to purchase those. You can create your own if you want to, but they're there because people ask for them, right? But if, you, if you're if a person who likes to turn pages, you know, if you have a like a composition notebook at home or if you have something you haven't written in in a long time, you say, okay, I'm going to use this as my journal. Like, you don't have to go out and buy something expensive just to journal. You're just trying to get it out, like you're trying to get it out. When you're going back through uh, uh, generational stuff, if you can find, if if you believe in therapy, counseling, support groups, those kind of things, um, be careful in support groups because it's not confidential. Those people are not the people sitting around you. That is not confidential. Just be careful with that. Versus the one on one, and then even that. Here we have the justice card. Yeah. So, yeah. So certain energies will keep trying to bait you into certain things. They'll keep trying to bait you into certain things. Like I said, don't give it any air. It can't breathe. It can't can't exist without any air, right? But it's coming off the heels of two other energies that are vain, um, vain, vengeful, green with envy. Think that everything comes so easy for you. Those kind of things. And like I said, it's a spirit, so it can be anybody. It literally can be any, whatever host that it's in, whatever host that it's in. Like when you look back, when I say look back at your own family, that's where you're going to find the answers. That's where you're going to really find the answers, right? And so, no, you were not dropped off in the wrong situation. No, you were not dropped off in the wrong situation. Even if they weren't your blood relatives, you were not dropped off in the wrong situation. You may have felt like that, but that was source preparing you for something. So adjust your crown. Adjust your crown. Here we have the Six of Pentacles because you're still not looking for energies that are um, demons. We're talking about uh, the spirit, whatever, you know, because you already know that Source is trying to take you to the next level for something. So that would be the um, temptation 
from the devil is the temptation. And so, so I'm just testing to see if you're really ready to go to the next level, right? So here we have hermit card. So every time when you go to go through one of these tests, it's like a hermit crab goes through a molting process. You're going back through, you're analyzing a situation and you're continuing to move forward. You're analyzing a situation and continuing to move forward, right? So yeah, so here we have the seven of wands here. So yeah, continuing to move forward. Yeah, so something is closed. Here we have the um, two of swords here. Yeah. So energies will continue, you know, trying to, you know, when you keep your, you want to keep your, take your blinders off, you know, and you keep your vibrations as high as possible. Because energies will continue trying to blindside because that's the frequency energies are on. Like the energies are just trying, to, like I said, and just misery loves company. Misery loves company. So, so, and it'll try to come at you different ways, try to come at you different ways. So you already know what you're dealing with, what type of an entity you're dealing with and who's in control of those entities, who signed a contract with that entity, right? Who's a host for those, that entity. So here we also have the nine of cups, a lot of wishes are being fulfilled. So wishes on top of wishes on top of wishes are being fulfilled. They're constantly being fulfilled for you, Aquarius. So, yeah, breakthrough. Breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. So, you don't even have to ask motive when you keep your vibrations high. But just like I said, I got to say it before I close it out. Look at your own family. Look at your own family. You don't need to look at anybody else's family. You don't need to look at anyone else's family. Look at your own. Focus there. All right, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Aquarius. Aquarius. Sacral chakra cleanse. Here we have just pray for them. You for you. You versus you. The best is yet to come. You're closing out cycles in love, but it's time to, for somebody to start dating again. I guess that's for somebody who wants to start dating. But you have the gift of precognition. Yeah, so um, somebody has a demon of lust. I don't know what, um, y'all go look up the word lust, right? But let go and let God, you are who they prayed for, right? Um, and so make room for a new blessing, like make room for a new blessing, but keep on moving forward. So somebody really misses you. Somebody apologizes for hurting you. That's their spirit apologizing for hurting you, right? They may not have been in a position to say it out of their mouth, whoever it is. They may not be in a position to say it out of their mouth. They may be guarded by or, you know, whatever. But the angel of prophecy and wisdom, but always bet on you. New love awaits for somebody, but your next love interest will make you happier. You want to um, make sure your heart chakra is clean. That's what I'm saying. And so the enemy's playing backfire. Somebody's a Drew. That's kind of malevolent, nocturnal spirit associated with nightmares. Like it, people are trying to create nightmares, you know, for you all, Aquarius. So prepare for an increase in pay. Somebody regrets lying to you about something. So when you go within, the answers that you need for everything are within. So whoever it was regrets lying to you they apologize for a lot of things right and so you're connected to their spirit you know who they are you know who they are so take um but like i said pray and meditate you are protected by angels it's all becoming clearer don't forget that rest is a form of self-care yeah don't forget the rest is a form of self-care don't forget that rest is a form of self-care so get your rest Get your rest on. Get your rest. Move in silence and move in peace. Peace. Yeah, don't let energies disrupt your peace, Aquarius. Focus on, like I said, and I, I got to say it one more again. Focus on breaking your own generational cycles, chains, and curses. If you think you free-spirited now... When you break your own generational cycles, chains, and curses in your own family, you feel so free and so liberated that, you know, even the ones, even the ones that could be separated by dark waters, this is right here on this particular, this death card, will be um, cheering for you. Your ancestors on the other side are actually cheering for you. Like, finally, this one came through, and this one right here crossed that, those, those waters, crossed those waters. 
999. I am unique. That's right. Thank the past for your lesson and leave it where it belongs so that you can make the best of the life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. That's it. Aquarius. Focus. I am devoted to a clear mind. I take action towards my highest goals daily. I'm confident in my abilities. I release distractions. I get the important things done. I'm organized. I'm in control of my thoughts. There it is, Aquarius. But yeah, I think The Alchemist is a really, really good book um, for somebody. So if you've never read the book, I think this would be this would be a good starter for somebody. Um, and you may have to read it a couple of times. Like sometimes you read a book and uh, you may grab like a highlighter or a notepad and just like make your own notes, you know, next to it. Of course, you got audio books and stuff like that. You can listen to it and just kind of like in a quiet place, like really let some more messages download. What did that mean? What did that part mean to you? But and then what did that part of the book mean to you? Right. What I seek is seeking me. What I seek is seeking me. Whatever it is that you seek, Aquarius, it's seeking you. It is seeking you. Your hard work is paying off. Look at you, Aquarius. Your hard work is paying off. Mm-mm. I love it. Health. Affirmations for health, right? So my body is complete and ever healing. I welcome the idea of perfect health into my mind, body, and spirit. My mind is healed. My body is healed. I am perfectly whole. Yeah. That's the part a lot of people forget about when you're um, healing from like ancestral stuff, like stuff, like a lot, just stuff, is that you carry a lot of things across you know, when you are um, courageous enough to say you're the one that's assigned to you to break something, to break a, a generational curse cycle and chain, that is not for the weak. <laughs> that is not, I'm telling you, a lot of people are like, this too much. But for those people who have accepted the assignment, um, no matter how much you all are judged, Aquarius, adjust your crown for real adjust your crown because everybody can't handle it. a lot of people will judge you they'll laugh at you they'll roast you they'll talk about you they'll do a whole lot of stuff and even the ones that sometimes the people that could that could help you they might not even understand so pray for them for real they may not understand they may not understand what's going on so um that's why you're not judging anybody who is breaking their own generational cycles, chains, and curses. Because how could you know what they're carrying? How could you know what they're carrying? You have no idea what other people are carrying. So that's why you pray for people. And don't pray on them. Don't add to something, right? Continue to pray for them. But you, golden blanket. ancestor prayers be coming through don't they Aquarius that is what I have for you that is your bonus reading Aquarius keep it on the throne adjust your crowns adjust your crowns Aquarius adjust your crown so yeah you've broken a curse you have broken a curse Aquarius whether you realize it or not but when you really sit down and think about which curse you broke for you all it's going to hit you like It'll be a major release. That's all I can tell you. It'll be a major, major, major release. So you can just start celebrating. I'm telling you, you start celebrating. That is what I have for you. I'll see you all in the regularly scheduled readings. All right? Bye.